Thank you for that, Sir uh, Ordelio, for discussing and highlighting no, the achievements, assessment points, and challenges uh, emanating from the intensive and productive efforts of the Rice Terraces Restoration Office of the LGU Banawe. Now for the ultimate presentation, the last presentation for this morning or this day, may we have Sir Judy C. Baggo, the Director for Research and Development Center for the Ifugao Rice Terraces as a globally important agricultural heritage systems of this university. Sir Jude, likewise, and perhaps more importantly, is an alumna, or uh, I'm sorry, alumnus of the Fugao Satoyama Meister Training Program. Sir Jude will talk about the indigenous people's education for the Ifugao Rice Terraces. So the floor is yours, Sir Jude. Thank you very much, Sir Michael, for the kind introduction. My presentation is on the indigenous people's education towards the conservation of the Ifugao rice terraces. And most of these activities are conducted by Ifugao State University and in partnership and collaboration with our local and international partners. So as presented, uh, next slide please, we have a lot of problems in the rice terraces and our, uh, our speaker before me enum uh, enumerated local problems in Banawe. And we all know that these problems are, uh, did not come in, in a vacuum. There are various reasons for all these pro problems, like the abandonment, loss of flora and fauna, the watershed destruction, conversion to other land use, and unchecked uh, tourism activities. Um, and we have researches, a lot of researches conducted by the uh, academe that's and saying that the youth of Ifugaos are losing interest and appre appreciation uh, on the conservation of the Ifugao rice or uh, for them to be included in the active uh, part or their active participation in the production of rice um, is not that... Um, we have a problem on that. And also we have here the out-migration and then therefore leading the lack of uh, labor force in the rice terraces. And these problems are anchored on, uh, we have also researchers said that these problems actually on the uh, attitude of our young people towards the rice terraces is also anchored uh, because of the education we receive in formal schools. And uh, for example, in Ifugao, we have identified the lack of developed and printed IKSP learning resources for teachers and students to use. We have also noticed or yeah, studied the lack of capacity building programs for teachers in teaching IKSP and also on producing IKSP learning um, resources. And Therefore, if we know that education is uh, have a major role in reintegrating the IKSP and culture to our young people, uh, next slide, please, is that um, we need to educate our young people on the value on the, of the rice terraces uh, because we have uh, seen in, in the past that these are, or the learnings we got from school actually lessened or placed the value of rice services in a lower dimension. So therefore, uh, recognizing the importance of education as a powerful tool engaging the youth, the indigenous people's education is introduced. Um, next slide. Uh, we have for DepEd the iPad framework and for higher education, which is the CHED memo number two, series of 2019. And we believe that culture uh, is a powerful um, springboard in the conserving of the rice terraces. Next slide. Uh, we have a lot of studies also that show that the use of IKSP in the curriculum promotes, strengthens, and reinforces the local experiences 
and knowledge of students. And here, uh, with all these uh, reasons, the Ifugao State University, uh, alongside with the Department of Education, our local, uh, our local partners like uh, Save Ifugao Terrorist Movement, um, and other institutions, and also our partners from the Center for Taiwan, Philippines, Indigenous Knowledge, Local Knowledge, and Sustainable Studies, have came up to introduce a training program wherein uh, these are responses to the problems, for example, for our students. So one that we did is that we have strengthened local collaborations among indigenous knowledge holders, NGOs, and educators. We were able to capacitate at least 50 plus uh, Ifugao indigenous uh, knowledge uh, under, under the Ifugao indigenous knowledge um, educators training program. Uh, this is in partnership with the Department of Education. And we already reached out for at least 34 schools and capacitated um, more than 50 uh, teachers and also faculty members of the Ifugao State University. Another one is that we developed and produced IKSP learning resources for basic education. We have at least 90 developed IKSP learning resources. And also we did um, uh, 11 uh, product, uh, uh, we developed at least 11 and produced uh, digital, uh, using digital technology for uh, audiovisual learning resources on indigenous knowledge and systems. And next, next please. Uh, all these materials uh, integrated, I, uh, uh, for example, in IFSU also, the IKSP is integrated across, uh, I, yes, the IKSP is integrated across programs at the Ifugao State University for our basic, basic education. Uh, I said a while ago that we developed uh, and produce, uh, or in IFSU, they produce two major books on IKSP, which is the Ifugao IKSP workbook and the uh, Ifugao weaving or in a ball. Uh, with these programs and projects, we have actually gained or have what we call the best practices that we can continue to, to use for um, uh, to develop more learning resources. And we have here the uh, collaboration among stakeholders and also, of course, mentoring. Though we have challenges, uh, for example, at this time of pandemic, it's uh, difficult to conduct face-to-face -face classes and it's having more difficult in our mountainous areas. And also contextualizing or the integration of IKSP in learning resources is a tedious task for teachers. And we have problems in the lack of written and printed IKSP and community comp competencies for teachers to use. And therefore, we recommend that there is a need to develop and produce printed community competencies, IKSP learning resources, and or also there is a need to institutionalize heritage edu educational tours to local and cultural sites. And also, we also recommend for um, a fund allocation for production of IKSP learning resources that cover, to, to at least cover uh, most schools or majority of schools in Ifugao. Other, otherwise, we'll still continue to rely on the national re learning resources uh, being given by the part of the Department of Education. I think that's my presentation for this morning. Thank you very much.